This video is sponsored by Squarespace. Whether you need a domain, website or online store, make it with Squarespace. Hi guys, in this video I'm going to show you how to make a magic colour changing brush in Affinity Designer. When I say magic, it's just a setting I found that creates a really neat effect, but it's going to press your friends, so open up the desktop app or the iPad app and we'll get started. Now this effect only works with raster brushes and not the vector brushes, so you need to make sure that you're in the pixel persona and make sure that you've got the brush uh, paint tool selected, second icon down. Now this effect can be applied to any of the brushes in the library, uh, but we're going to create our own brush today, so select the drop down, add a category, drop down again and new round brush. Don't need to worry about any of the info here, go to dynamics. And this is what we want to focus on. It might seem quite overwhelming at first when you see all these options of sliders, drop downs and graphs, but all we're going to focus on is the hue one over here. We're going to bring the slider up to 100% and on the drop down, we're going to go and choose velocity. I found this to be the best one. Have a play with all the other ones that are there, but this one seems to work the best uh, for what we want to achieve. Under color, select a bright color because it doesn't work with black and white. Then once we have that, I'll show you what happens to a line if we draw it across the page. And as you can see, when we start off slow, we get a certain color of the spectrum up to uh, the end of the spectrum when we're going really quickly, and we get that full color because we've got it 100% on that slider. If I was to if you click more at the bottom, dynamics again, and change it to 50% roughly, you'll see that as we do it, we are missing part of that spectrum now. We've reduced it to 50% of the colors. And if you were to change the color, you would then get a different part of that spectrum. So it's a really cool tool. And what it works really well with is if you've got some uh, text. And what we've got here is we've got the, the full text at the bottom and then the top, we just got half the letters. So what happens, we get this sort of cool intertwining text look. So uh, live life, I'm gonna put in color in the script. And just to emphasize that even more, we are going to give the top layer an outer glow. Just need to bring up some of these. As we can see, it just adds a little bit of shadow onto the text, giving it a bit more depth. There you go, guys. I hope you found that useful. Please leave any questions in the old comment section below. Uh, I'd really like to thank Squarespace again for sponsoring this video. Uh, it means I can spend more time focusing on my craft and getting more YouTube videos out for you guys. So if you need a new domain or website, uh, they really are a fantastic platform, especially as designers where we need our work to stand out to attract new clients. Um, something I struggled with in the past was keeping my portfolio up to date. And this was mainly due to my old website being so hard to do this. But with Squarespace, in no time at all, I've updated it with my latest lettering project. So then I can focus in more on new clients or new content work I want to create for, for YouTube. It's also great they've got some beautifully designed templates, which help emphasize your work even more. And a super simple user interface, which, like I said, helps updating your website really easy. And if, for some reason, you get stuck, they have award-winning 24-7 customer support to help you out. So start your free trial now by going to squarespace.com and when you're ready to launch, head on over to squarespace.com forward slash Ian Barnard to save 10% off your first purchase of a domain or website.